Hello, this is Brewer, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play EU4, playing as the Duchy of Brittany, and this is us. As I've said in the last couple episodes, we got kicked out of Europe, and we are rebuilding in the Caribbean, so slowly but surely doing our thing. Uh, we can repay a loan. Let's do that. Oh, whatever. Pay whatever you can pay. Uh, our trade range just increased. I wonder if there's anything else we can do with that. Um, we're not ahead of time, so yeah. No, I think this is fine to take. And then, let's check the trade picture. So we're currently transferring trade from here. Not a lot there. Somewhere else we can go to transfer trade. Technically, this point seven. Although it's literally, it's only coming to us anyway. Both of these are only coming to us. I don't, don't think it'll make that much difference one way or the other. We'll just leave our guy there. That's going to be fine. It's really just to get the uh, the multiplier. Um, so that's going to be okay. You know what? I wonder if... Did this thing expire yet? When will it expire? Um... Okay, so it did expire, but we don't have enough influence with them at the moment. So... Yeah, that would be good to have. And we don't really have any good ways to increase their influence. We can give them some land, I suppose. I don't know if that's really what we want to do, but... It's probably not the worst idea in the world. Let's see. We'll see what happens if we give them some land. Clergy, if we give you... That. It'll increase them to 60%. Wow. And then if we take the, the decision, it would get them up to 75%. That would be a bit scary, but you know what? Let's do it. I think it's going to be fine. Clergy, take this one for now. That way we can take this decision. That's not the one we want, is it? Oh, I want New World Charter. That's the one I want. Oh, okay. Oh, no, this is fine. And this is still going to be good for us in the grand scheme of things. So let's do that. All right, so we got that. Technically, we could probably take this away and give it to the, the other guys now if we really wanted to. It would tank their loyalty... See how much way to take their loyalty by. Cannot be revoked until 1532. So one more year. So we can let them have it for a year. And then see about re revoking it to give it to the other guys to increase the settler thing. Alright, I think we can repay another loan now. How many loans do we have left? One loan left. We are making money. Slowly but surely. Decline of the merchant class. The bourgeoisie loses 10 influence. Well, that's going to make it hard for us to do anything with them. Well, that's a cheaper idea cost. That's not too bad. Really, Provence, you're, you're actually trying to spy on me way out here. Oh, goodness. Um, <laughs> it just says we're trying to get our, our prestige out of the hole. Whatever. It's just going to be in the hole forever. You know what? Um, one of you guys. Oh, you Choctaw guy. I don't know if I care about the Choctaw at the moment. All right. Let's go. 
make Provence happier with me. I can't imagine that they're... How, how do they hate me still? They actually don't hate me at the moment. Let's just see if we can just make them happy with us. Maybe they won't do anything stupid with us. <laughs> Leave us alone. More local recruiting. One manpower. Nice. As expired, we can pay the loan immediately. Let's repay it immediately. That's fine. And is that all of our loans? I think it is. Yes. So now we can actually start doing something else with our money. Uh, with our cheaper idea costs, we can actually take an idea. Uh, but we're still still behind on Diplo, and so we might as well save it for that. Disputed succession. We're making any money from trade, really? A teeny tiny bit. Trade steering is getting us plus 54%, not too bad. Uh, trade power is still negative because of the um, prestige issue. Is what it is. Um, we could start collecting trade from somewhere else, apparently. Apparently, Panama is a better trade node. Did I miss that one earlier? Or is this Panama? Oh, no, this is Panama, so we're good. Okay. I was going to say, I was like, Panama? I don't remember that one. Um, no, I guess we're okay. I mean, it's technically worth more than our current node, but as we continue with uh, some of this colonizing, ours will get better and better. In fact, there we go. I bet that increased the profitability of ours right there. Wow, okay. Uh, the bourgeoisie class has grown increasingly resentful of the power of the noble families, and particularly their lack of opportunities in the higher ranks of government. Their only route into power is to marry into poor but well-titled noble families or pry open positions in government circles. Grant them privileges, lose some admin power, uh, kind of flip-flop on the nobility or the loyalty. So both of those options are available. Or we could just make them both a little bit happy and lose less Diplo, which in general is better. Um, do we want to go ahead and give out this? I mean, this one right here is probably going to go to the, the traders anyway, the bourgeoisie. So we may just wait for that one. But if we trade this one now, it would actually give us better settler chance as well. So, how much would it do you reduce it by if I took this one away? Reduce the influence by a lot. Um, by 30% of the loyalty though. That's going to make them not happy with me. But it will bounce back. Oh, I didn't reduce as much as I thought it would. That's odd. Okay. So then we could give this to the... Uh, if we give it to the bourgeoisie... It would increase their influence to exactly 40%. Is that enough? They actually don't have anything at the moment. So that is odd. So let's go ahead and give it to the bourgeoisie. And see if that gives us something now. Um... Oh, it said their influence has to be 40 or higher. Oh, because they still have the negative 10. Ah, so we could tank our prestige a bit more. Whatever. Come this far, we might as well keep tanking it, right? It's a terrible, terrible idea, but it is what it is. And as long as we're here, we might as well gain some Diplo. Yeah.
you, we don't want to tank your loyalty anymore. Um, I'm not sure anything we can do to make your loyalty go up. We could spend some money to get some admin power. Probably okay. Makes you a little bit unhappy with us, but only for like 4%. Native assimilation. Ah, we're actually getting some now. Nice. Uh, we could take some ideas still, but again, I think we're still going to wait on the technology for Diplo. Because it's more colonial range, which is not hugely necessary, but it will get us better trade efficiency. Right, you'll get you'll get happy with me soon enough. All right, we could upgrade another ship. Um, I'm tempted to see see how much we're making. We're actually making some money. I'm actually going to see if um, getting a, building a ship again will make things. Um, Since it's a little bit better ship on the trade power, and plus we have more trade power here in the node, let's see if it can pay for itself yet. Probably not, but it's worth a shot. Uh, Provence, seriously. Oh, the loose stability. It doesn't really matter. The economy. That's all right. We have, we're plus two, so that's good. Um, all right. Provence actually kind of likes us now, so we'll go ahead and recall you. Is there anything we want to do with Provence just to make you, like, not be coming after me? Can't do a royal marriage because we're too far away, presumably. No, they're still hostile towards me. Wow. No, that's about it. I guess it's all right. All right, we can take a technology and Diplo, and I think we will. It's only going to continue to get worse, so that's fine. So for the next six years, we will have more trade efficiency, which is nice to have. All right, so our ship is ready to go. Protect trade in Caribbean. So the fleet costs 0 0.05, and so it's technically a 0 0.02 loss. So we're, we're closer. Still not where we need to be, but we're closer. I mean, as we continue to increase the trade power in this node, it will, will make things much better. Clergy losing power. So the clergy loses some influence. Okay, that's fine. And they're not angry with me anymore, so that's good as well. Um, I mean, I guess at this point we just save up for some buildings and stuff. Like uh, a church would be 0.13. Workshop 0.15, it's not too bad. Courthouse, technically some money, but not really worth it. Marketplace, some more trade power, which we could look into that as well. I still, still don't really understand how to equate the trade power to money. I wish it was a little more explicit. And that's about it. So, all right. We'll save up for one of those, I guess. It's going to be the easiest way for us to get a bit of money. Other than colonizing, because colonizing is going to continue to increase our trade. Uh, we do have a free diplomat, so how about you go back to... Go to threatening countries. Ah, base tax. I like it. Come on, we're almost done. Great export licenses. We can lose some legitimacy, which is just going in the tank, or we can gain some legitimacy. 
This one gives us more tax modifier, which is good. But I really feel like we probably should gain the legitimacy back as quickly as we can. Nah, let's do that. It's going to be fine. As the prestige continues to bounce back, we'll, we'll get closer and closer to getting our legitimacy back up again. Colony is almost done. Colony self-sustaining. Nice. A little bit of prestige there. So, that is good. Do we keep going after the centers of trade? I mean, that seems like a probably pretty good strategy. Go over here to Havana. Come down here. Get those knocked out. And then we can spread out after that. Yeah, I think that's fine. I guess they're not really called centers of trade. They're natural harbors. Let's come down to this one. And do that. That's going to be fine, I think. Uh, what's the closest? Like, baddies. Not really anybody. So, let's just do that. So, still all within this area, which is fine. What's our possible force limit now? Eight. And if we get this one, that'll get us back to the number of, uh, of, of, um, what I'm trying to say. Not districts, but anyway. The number of places that we had when we started with Brittany. They only had four provinces. There we go. Uh, so that'll get back to four provinces again. Now this is easy. Just lose five diplo power. Perfectly fine. Wow, this technology up here is expensive. As not having the institutes really going to start hurting us. This may be the last technology we get for a while. May focus on some uh, ideas and stuff after that since it's going to be so expensive. There we go. Go ahead and grab you. Ah, it's really only going to be one year ahead of time. Okay, well, fine. Puts us at 11 across the board. Like I said, it's getting so expensive with the colonialism thing that we don't have yet. Um, it's not really an easy way for us to force it anymore, is there? Ah, we're still, we're technically getting some by improving these. Yeah. I mean, we, we may have to do something like that. Since there's nobody nearby, we may just have to improve it until we can uh, get it to spread. Like, if we improve it here, it's only three. Wow, we'd have to improve it like 90 times. Or not 90 times, but like by 90, so 30 times total. That's a lot. We're not really lagging behind too much, so it may be fine for now. Oh, I can build an improvement. Nice. So the church is 0.13. Workshop is 0.15, so obviously that one's better. And we got the trade. Hard to determine what that is. We probably will want to do that at least there at some point. I don't know if that's the first one we do. So let's do the this one. And I think that's going to be fine. And almost a full ducat from trade. Chesapeake Bay. Huh. It's actually a pretty good one. How are we looking on the trade stuff? Anything we could transfer to here? Not really. Like, not, not, not that's not already coming here, I should say. Uh, this one down here, we could force more up this way. Although, yeah, all of it's going the other direction at the moment. 
That's a possibility. Send the guy from Panama. Let's just see what happens. So we're currently at 0.96. So we have you transfer. Let's see if that makes any difference at all. It's not really anything money there at all, but if we can make it come to us instead of the other way around. Military cost, it's fine. I think it technically loaded by 0 0.03. Basically the same, so it's not really that big of a deal. Because a lot of this is still coming to us. Um, lose prestige, I don't really want to do that. Lose five loyalty, which is fine, and some national unrest, which we are currently at. Okay, we're, gonna, we're fine with that. We're going to be disloyal for like a month. Corrupt bureaucracy. Yearly corruption. Ouch. Once we get these um, trade areas, these har natural harbors, we'll probably spread out to the, the states surrounding the areas that we've got currently. I guess we don't have enough money for a uh, second colony anytime soon. Now this isn't the same train node, right? Yep, this is still all in the Caribbean. So once we get to, oh, we just got cotton. So that should have increased trade here. Oh, we're over a ducat now, nice. Little by little. Lose legitimacy or gain legitimacy. I actually like the gaining legitimacy. Let's do that. New world colonization has expired. So, okay, we can take a technology. Um, which is not bad. Don't know if it's needed. So national decision, what do we got here? Embrace the counter-reformation. Papal's opinion um, changed by plus 75. Saxe's opinion changed by plus 75. Get counter-reformation, we get two missionaries. More expensive technologies, things like that. You know what? We're not going to do this. Yeah, I don't think I want to do this. I'm going to turn that off. Um, technology. I don't know if I want to do the technology or not. Uh, that one's going to bounce back. That's fine. Is there a button we want to click? I hadn't thought about it. Some free mercantilism would be pretty good. Yearly prestige would be really good. Let's take the yearly prestige. Let's get us out of this hole a little bit quicker. So, what do we want to do? Um, kind of thinking taking the ideas is fine. If we finish this one out, fabricate claim overseas in colonial regions. Not really something that matters too much. Getting up to the other colony. By the time we get here, maybe we're making more money. That might be good for us. It's possible. I don't know. Um, it's so expensive. Goodness. Let's just do it. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to get behind a tech. And plus, this gives us 11 years of more trade efficiency, which is going to help us monetarily. So it's going to be fine. All 
right, well, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. Like I said, we're, we're about 644 colonists now, so we're 356 away from having as many provinces as we had at the beginning of the game. Not a bad place to be considering, I suppose, but obviously anything could change very, very quickly. So we'll just have to see what we can do to uh, shore this up and uh, keep this as our own. Uh, again, I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again. Thank you, and goodbye.